Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from www.vfxrider.com and today I have come here with another great but a short video tutorial as compared to my previous tutorials. And this is the effect what we are going to see in the end of this tutorial. Um, as you can see here that the cloud is moving and uh, you can see the depth here. But do you know that this is just a simple image? and I have turned it into 3D cloud like movement. Actually the main idea comes from www.allbaitsareoff.com which is hosted by Aaron Rabinodviz and uh, he has made several great video tutorials. Actually you may ask what is the difference between Aaron's way and mine. Actually he has used some different way yet very simple but as you know that there is always another way and I have used my way which is far different from Aaron's way. To see Aaron's way do watch his tutorial but for now let's move to After Effects to see my way. Let's start a new project and uh, let's import the sky footage. This is the same sky image which I had used in my first very video tutorial sky replacement. Actually it's my favorite footage. As you can see that this is just a simple image. So to turn it into 3D cloud just type corner pin in effect and preset and you can find it here in the start menu. Just drag it here. You can see this is the upper left corner, upper right corner, lower left and lower right. Now just make two initial keyframes in both of the upper corner points since I don't want to move the lower part. And just drag the upper left corner pin to the farthest left and uh, move the upper right corner and move the upper right corner pin to to the right. Now go to last frame and drag back the upper left corner pin to the right. Make some adjustments here in upper right pin also. Now it's done. Just hit the play button and uh, you can see the effect of 3D cloud movement clouds which are farthest to the camera is moving less as compared to the clouds which are closer to the camera and hence you get the depth. So this is a great and effective way to achieve 3D cloud movement with just a simple and single image. So guys I hope you have enjoyed this particular short yet effective video tutorial very much. Once again, thanks to Aaron Rabinovitz for his great idea. The idea which is manipulated here in different way. So let's meet you in the next video tutorial. This is Chandan Kumar from www.vfxrider.com. Remember it. See you soon. Bye-bye.